all right stay tuned in this video i'm going to show you how to fix the power supply unit of an epson printer that is not turning on at all so stay tuned while i take you through the process hello so i have this this epson printer here and it won't turn on I've tried to plug it into electricity several times. It won't turn on. I've tried to change this cable several times. It won't turn on at all. There's no indicator here. No sign that this uh, printer here is on at all. So I'm going to plug this in one more time for demonstration purposes so that you see that this is not coming on. I'm, later, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. Now, this is my cable. It is plugged to the, the outlet, electric outlet. Then I'm going to plug this to to the printer all right this has been plugged to you can see this has been plugged to the to the printer so why the other end of this cable has been plugged to the electric socket i'm going to turn it on now and see what happens so i'm going to press the power button here you can see normally the the led light is supposed to come on but nothing is happening here no light no indicator no sound from the printer that means something is definitely wrong with this printer i'm going to show you how to fix the issue now one of the first thing you want to check when your epson printer is not coming on is you have to confirm that the cable is okay if your cable is okay confirm that the your electric socket is turned on and your cable is okay change cable just to be sure you are on the right path now i have done all of that and nothing seems to work so what i'm going to do is to first of all unplug this cable here this cable i'm going to unplug this cable okay so the cable is unplugged i definitely something is wrong with this printer and this is uh the power area now this power area is actually an adapter that is removable this adapter is removable so what i'm going to do is to remove the adapter and i'm going to check the adapter if it's burnt if it's burnt i'm going to fix the adapter or i get another one depending on what you want this adapter can actually be replaced and it can actually be repaired also if you want to so i will turn my printer upside down this way i'm going to turn my printer upside down this way but while doing that make sure your ink make sure your ink tank is empty your ink tank should be empty while doing all of this. Otherwise, it's going to pour out your toner. Okay. And if yours is not empty, if you have a lot of ink inside, ensure that it is locked properly. If it's properly locked, once you turn it upside down, it won't have any effect. So I am going to turn mine upside down this way. This way. This is the area I'm going to be working on. So because my own ink tank is empty, I'm going to turn it upside down all the way but if you have a lot of ink inside just to be able to save protect the ink from pouring out you can just turn it just 90 degree this way then you be able to assess this area this is the area that we want to assess we want to work on this area but because my own ink tank is empty i am going to turn mine all the way down this way i'm going to remove this this is the adapter that controls the power that goes into the printer so i to remove it the first thing i want to remove is this there's this plastic on the right side of the adapter so i'm going to remove this one first you can see it came out easily so this plastic is out once this plastic is out you will be able to remove this adapter easily so your screwdriver one end this way and then you put another end of the screwdriver here then you pull gently so you just gently pry it it will keep coming out gently okay all right so this is what it looks like so this is what it looks like 
So this is the adapter and this is the cable that is attached to the adapter that supplies power, takes power from this adapter into the printer and power it on. So this is the adapter. Now, something is wrong with this adapter. That is why it is not on. To fix the issue, I am going to replace this adapter. So I'm going to look for the voltage rating on this adapter. The voltage rating on this adapter is 42 volts. So I'll go online. I will look for the adapter 40 two volts of this particular adapter 0 0.5 amps and go online and look for it and get it and if you can't find a way to get it you can hit me up in the comment section i will send one over to you so there are different types you can get you can get the one direct from epson itself or you can get the universal one but whatever one you're getting ensure that it is the same voltage rating and the same amp rating this one is 42 volts and 0 0.5 amps so that is what i'm going to be looking for now because this one is something i can fix myself what i'm going to do i understand that the problem what is uh, will likely be wrong with this is uh, a balloon capacitor yeah that is what uh the problem will likely be a balloon capacitor inside or a balloon fuse so i'm going to fix this one myself what i'm going to do is to open this this case and then i'm going to replace the uh fuse and the capacitor because that is the problem that this comes with most of the time okay so i will quickly take my time to be able to remove this and fix the issue so i'll take this aside then i'll pry this open Okay, so I have been able to fix the, the problem with this one. I've replaced the, the parts that is that is bad inside, that has gone bad inside. It is the capacitor that has gone bad inside. I've been able to replace the capacitor inside. The 400 volt capacitor inside has blown. I have been able to replace it and fix this problem. So I'll go ahead now and and put it back inside the printer. Remember that if you don't know how to fix uh, this kind of power supply yourself, you can actually get another one, you know, from your local electronic shop or online. And if you don't know how to get it, just hit me up in the uh, comment section. I will send one over to you wherever you are. So that is it. I'm going to fix this back and hopefully the problem is solved. This is going to go back. All right. So I have been able to fix it back. I will now plug back my power in. Okay, I have plugged back my power into this outlet. So I will power on this now and let's see. So this is fine now. I'll go ahead and plug this back the way you ought to. Remember, this clip has to go directly into this area. You must watch closely and ensure that you fit it in the right way. The, the pins, the one, two, three pin has to go into this one, two, three holes here. 
so I'm going to carefully fix it in okay that's clicked into place and then I'm going to put the cover back Okay, so this has gone in, so I'll plug my power into the power socket here, alright, and then I'm going to power it on, you can see that as soon as I power it on, the power quickly came, the indicators are now on, and this is working the way you ought to my the printer is not working the way it it ought to work so i'll do a test print So that is it folks, thank you for watching, I'll see you some other time.